Hello, hello, and welcome to Save with Judy. On this channel, we love to do savings challenges and then do play the games and the challenges and then move our money over into sinking funds just because it's more fun that way. Rather than just saving and saving and saving, at least you're getting some enjoyment out of it ahead of time. But anyway, I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for getting me to over 1,500. Make sure that you check out the um, giveaway video that was posted yesterday. I will be running the giveaway through Friday the 4th, and I will announce the winners on Saturday, May 5th. So make sure that you catch that. You, the rules are that you have to be a subscriber. You have to be a public subscriber. You have to be 18. And you have to like and comment the video. And I appreciate each one of you for stopping in and uh, commenting and signing up for the giveaway. And also, there's a freebie that goes with it. So make sure you check the link below in this video and uh, the video for the giveaway and uh, grab your freebie. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. One more thing on the giveaway, though, I wanted to tell you. Uh, make sure that if you get a, a in your comments, you get something, and it looks like it's from me, and it says, you know, you're a winner, call this number or whatever. Don't do it, because it's not me. I will never give you a phone number to call or anything, so don't do it. That is a troll, and uh, it's a scammer. Don't fall for it, because I got one of those today. I had um, entered a giveaway on another channel, and then this morning, I got one of those and with the number, and that's what made me think, you know what, I didn't advise them about that in my video, so um, I wanted to make sure and tell you that, and then when we do have a giveaway, the way that you will contact me is through, either through my Gmail, that's in my description, or through Etsy, and we'll, we'll figure out if it's all real, but don't, do not correspond with anyone that gives you a phone number to call in a giveaway, because they're just trolls and scammers. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started today. We'll see how much money we have. And what am I cooking today? I am making a chicken pot pie, and we're going to have a side salad with that. Make it an easy day. Okay, and I'm going to make some brownies, too. I haven't done those yet, but I'm getting ready to after I get through doing my video today. Okay, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 dollars to put into our $5 Friday. I love $5 Fridays because they're just simple. You're using $5 and that's what you've got to go with. <coughs> so let's look in here first. The first thing we're going to do, let's turn our savings challenge book to our $5 Fridays. And we are going to do this one. It is a, a mandatory one every week. So we're going to start with it. And I'm going to be doing putting $10 in this one today so we can finish out April. And next week, we'll, next Friday, we'll be into May, and we will start on the tulips. I think I'll go ahead and do these in that darker color since I got that one of the darker color. I kind of wanted to stick with the light, but I picked up the wrong pen just now. Thought I had the right one. I've got like four different colors of pink. Okay. So we're going to uh, put $10 in here. And let's see how much we have with our $10. We have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. I thought we should have 100. I may have to put another 5 in. See, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yes, I owe it another five. Because we should be at a hundred dollars. 
Someone told me last week that they thought I was off $5, but I came out here and counted it, and I thought it was right, but it evidently was not. Okay, now we're going to move to flower power. That's where we left off last week. So we'll move over here. And we're going to color in one flower. And let's do... Yeah, we'll do this color. See these pens fool you. Doesn't don't that look like pink? But it looks orange once you once you get it on the paper. And this one is from D Plans and Budgets. And I just love it. I think it's a really pretty challenge. Okay, let's get a yellow. And put in $5. Okay, and so far we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. <clears throat> okay, then we're going to do, we started this one a couple of weeks ago and it's from Ducky Budgets. And get it out. Okay, and let's do another five on here. On that little daisy. Okay, so now we have five, ten, fifteen dollars in this one. <clears throat> okay, now you know I told you that last week I had to <clears throat> to in order to buy my laptop, I rated my real estate tax fund and I rated some of my five dollar Friday challenges and my Domino's challenge. So I have replaced some of the ones we back here back had back here with some new ones. So we're gonna start them today. I didn't feel like I could continue on with them because I couldn't put the money back in there that I had in there to keep adding to it. So we decided to just start new ones. Okay, let's do five in this one. And this one is summer tents, and it's one of mine. And it'll be for a $75 savings when we get finished. We're going to do a three and a two today. That'll be $5 in this one. Okay, and then this one is from Toe Bean Budgets. And we're going to do one flower for five dollars. Uh, we'll do this color. I figured since it was springtime and the flowers are starting to bloom, my irises are absolutely beautiful already. But I would try to do some of these flower budgets. Um. Uh, not this coming week, but the week after, the weekend of Mother's Day. That's when my mother was living every Saturday before Mother's Day. I would take her to buy her flowers for her porch and and in her baskets and stuff. And that was my Mother's Day to her. 
and because uh, she had a green thumb, let me tell you, her and my grandmother both did. That that uh, green thumb gene missed me, but my son got it. He's the same way with with plants. But anyway, that was our day to go shopping for our for our plants and flowers. So I still try to go on that day and still pick up some things for out in front of my house. So probably the Saturday before Mother's Day, I'll be going to do that. Okay, and then the next one, this one is from, let me pull it out so I can see it good, from Go Budget Boo. And we're going to put $5 into this one. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to, um, oh, let me see. I think I'm going to do the four and a one. And the one. Okay, and there's five in that one. Okay, and then we're going to start a new one from Love and Life at 60-ish. And her Etsy store is called fairyrosecottage.etsy.com. And we're going to do, this is uh, her uh, Bill and Queens series. So we're going to put five in here. Oops. And this one will be $125 when I get it finished. Let's hope that this time I can leave it all in there until then. <laughs> And then we have one from the Budgeting Student. <clears throat> it says, the sun will be here soon. I hope so. So let's do one sun for $5. Hope you can see that I've done that one. Okay. Okay, then we'll move back up front. I only have five dollars left. We're going to do it into coffee, please, from Kirsty at Isolated Funds. Let me know in the comments what you guys are planning for the weekend. This the weather is getting really nice just about everywhere, so I'd like to know what plans you have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in here so far. And you know what? I really thought I was going to get to finish this uh, Donna. Um, this one. This week, which would have it finished for this month, but I guess it'll be the first one we finish in May, probably. Because it'll have to wait till next time. But anyway, I guess that's all the money we had though. 55, 55 or 60 dollars when Friday comes. That's about all I have I can put into five dollar Fridays. But I enjoy the five dollar Fridays. Oh, let me get this thing straightened out here. So anyway, I appreciate you guys being here with me, and uh, I hope that you enjoy my channel. I know I love, love doing it. And uh I had several of you comment what I had said about my mother in our little question thing this week. And I was one, I had two or three talk about their grandmother. One day I'll have to tell you the story of my amazing grandmother. I only had one grandparent growing up. I never had a grandfather. And, uh, and I'll tell you why. Maybe that'll be our story, a story for next week. I'll tell you what. She was just an amazing woman. 
let me see. I need to put my doggy on here. I forgot it. I saw it laying here on the desk. Get it on there. And this is where we will start next week. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a fabulous weekend. And I will see you Sunday for Sunday Playing with Friends. If you haven't downloaded Sunday the Sunday Playing with Friends coloring sheet, please do and join me on Sunday mornings. And let's color those gnomes in and save that money together. That's what's making it so much fun. And so many people now are showing that in their videos. And everybody can see what their gnomes look like. And uh, I'm, I love to look at every one of them. So anyway, I'll see you Sunday morning. And until then, remember... I love you.